welcome back to the Jump Force character reviews. As you can see, we've been posting a lot of Jump Force stuff on the channel. And to conclude our three Jump Force video set, today's review is the one. You know, I'm not even going to say it. Uh, Vince McMahon, take it away. And with that introduction out of the way, let's talk about him. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of fun facts other than the fact that Kane was an original created character for the game and served as a sub-boss for the game's final boss, Prometheus. And other than that, it's spoiler stuff, which I do not want to get into. I think you should play the Gem Force story for yourself and create your own character and see what you like. So, let's get into some gameplay very instantly. So Kane's pretty intriguing with the fact that he has zero range in any attacks. He's all about teleporting and brutally outpowering you. Such as with his first attack, Ignition Bullet, which is a dashing teleport punch, which is a great combo and knocks your opponent pretty far back. And I think it is a pretty decent maneuver at that. And up next, we have, unless we show an Ignition Bullet off here again, which I'm not sure, I was talking to Chad about this at the time. We were talking about Kane and how intrigued we were by this character, especially when he came out. Up next is Planet Breaker, a two meter attack, which has Kane jump in the air, create an earthquake stomp, and set, and set up for an air combo if you prefer to play that style. And then, if you caught that at that last second, that was Phantom Wave. And what Phantom Wave does, in case you guys did not see that before we get into this alternate right here. Phantom Wave is his right trigger B. It is a one meter attack, and it's not even an attack or a buff move. It is a straight up teleport. He can teleport in any direction you use on the left stick. And from there, he can just go into grabs, go into, into a combo, whatever you feel. And... Now let's get into the alt, which is probably one of the best alts in the game as of this time. We have the one and only Cosmic Overload. And I'm going to let you guys enjoy this with sound. Yes. And... Uh, it's time for a diva bomb. <laughs> Okay, so I'm not kidding when I said that that's a pl that's a diva bomb essentially. In fact, here's a funny edit of that. Play the game. Nerf this. But basically, it's an AOE alt, which is the first of its kind. Which I think is pretty intriguing. And you can hit this from anywhere and then you can just blow them the heck up. Cosmic Overload is a pretty hard ult to avoid, kind of like the world. The only difference is the world is very fast, while Cosmic Overload has this great giant blast radius. It is by far one of the best ultimates in the game, and it's no wonder you can't give your avatar this. Alright, now that we got the moves of Mr. Kane out of the way, why don't we get into some gameplay? And yes! The song I'm using for the gameplay is ironic on purpose. Okay, so as we mentioned before, Kane is all about brutally rushing you down and using Ignition Bullet, as well as his other teleportation moves to get around your opponent's defenses and range attacks such as against a Gar or a Rio Saba player. And you can use Phantom Wave to go into a Grab or Ignition Bullet, whatever you feel like. And Kane is just so brutally strong and extremely dangerous. Now this stream was recorded before uh, Bakugo came out. And I will say, I think Bakugo is a better version of this character, but Kane is so unique with the fact that you have to use his teleportation for great combos. And not to mention that his ult, Cosmic Overload, is so devastating, it's so effective, it can hit multiple people at once if you know what you're doing, and it is just so much fun to use. I think the only downside with Kane really is the learning curve of his teleportation, since he is, one of the, he is the only character who has a teleporting ability of any sense. And as well as, if I'm being perfectly honest, I think Bakugo is superior to Kane because Bakugo has a little bit more range and effect than this, where Kane has kind of no range. Sure, you can use Ignition Bullet to get in close, but that is a much better combo area than it should be used for a range attack. 
Other than that, what do I rank 10 out of 10? Now, keep in mind, this was before I played Bakugo, and I think Bakugo is probably the better, probably one of the better rush time characters in the game. But Kane is just as effective, and if you don't want a DLC character who's a rush down character, then definitely play some Kane. It's gonna be a bit of a learning curve, like I said, but I think Kane is one of the best characters for a rush down style. That being said, Kane score is an 8.5 out of 10. Again, there's nothing wrong with this character too much besides the fact that his teleportation could be a bit tricky to some players, and he has zero range. But the range can be picked up, again, because of this teleportation effect he has. And the, the fact that he's just so good at beating you up and it's so hard to avoid cosmic overload. There is just so much good about Kane that I cannot say. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this was a shorter review, like I said, because we didn't have that many fun facts about Kane. I'm apologizing for that. And I hope you enjoyed this review. Let me know what you guys think down below. And let me know what characters you do want to see, because I'm going to be getting footage tomorrow. Because coming up this week, with help from Leo, you guys are finally getting the Deku review. And with that being said, I will talk to you all later. And cue the outro music. <laughs>